Well, you can see from the pictures all over England and London that the excitement is building. There have been millions of people now, we're told, uh, down by the river in London and also all over England. You mentioned Scotland earlier. Scotland is traditionally the home of one of the best uh, New Year's Eve parties in the world and they are determined to have a great party this year as well and also in Wales and Northern Ireland and all over the British Isles. The end of this millennium comes at a time when British Isles has more devolved government than any time in its history. Scotland and Wales have got uh, more and more autonomous and more and more independent from the central government here and in Northern Ireland it's a particularly poignant time because Jay managed to scrape by at the end of this century with a peace deal that will hopefully put them into the 21st century on a different footing after 30 years of what they euphemistically called in Northern Ireland the Troubles. Now Britain, where the British Isles, considers itself the standard of world time, of universal time. We've been talking a lot throughout this day about how Greenwich Mean Time was chosen. The Greenwich Meridian goes right through Britain, France, North Africa, and all the way down from, to the Antarctic. It essentially joins the North to the South Pole. And people who are different nationalities, different religions, different cultures, are all set to the same time and are all celebrating at this precise moment. As we get closer, people will start the countdown. We're looking right now at Trafalgar Square, traditionally the British party zone on New Year's Eve. They were going to freeze Trafalgar Square and make it into a giant skating rink for the evening, but that proved too difficult and too expensive. Nonetheless, you can see that people are crowding into Trafalgar Square as they also are along the banks of the river. Great street parties have been held in London along the banks of the River Thames. And the people there obviously hope that their patience will pay off because this is the site of what has been billed as the greatest pyrotechnics of the world's millennium celebrations. There will be what is known as a river of fire, the illusion of a fire wall racing up the Thames at the speed of sound. There will also be a 15-minute millennium spectacular fireworks. Let's listen as we head into the countdown.